I finally moved out of the old house and I'm still waiting to move into the new one. So I have the interim workbench set up and I ordered some parts because my old parts are scattered everywhere. So let's see what we've got and how we can put it to use. This says components and parts. I have no idea how long I've had this, but oh, a bunch of ICs. So it looks like I have some 74HC374 chips, and I think those are D flip flop latch sort of things. Looks like I have a couple of different vendors here. So if that's what I think it is, it belongs in a previous project. And I've already ordered these from a different supplier and received them, so this is probably a backup order. This is IC times one. And it looks like capacitors. It says 473, is that 47 nano? But either way, it's restocking for PCB projects. I don't know if I ordered this for something in particular, but right now it's going into inventory. There's gonna be no mystery about this. It says potentiometer knobs. And I know I've ordered a bunch of these in different styles and sizes because some of them I just wanted plain like this is plain black and sometimes if I have a bunch on the same project I want to differentiate them with colors and in fact when I moved this one went missing so I can probably immediately put one of those to use again and it fits without banging into the next one over. Uh-oh, damaged one. Well, that's not very good, but I've seen worse things happen in shipping, so I'll sacrifice one out of 10. And this is one of the packages I ordered about a year ago, so I don't think I can really open a case on this. I'll just have to throw that out. Well, this one's in a box and it says integrated circuits and I don't see a convenient way in. So I'm just gonna cut through the box itself and everything is going everywhere. Okay, is that good enough? Oh, 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 that's a kit. And I think it's a vacuum tube related preamp or something. I vaguely remember this. Okay, let's see. So the tube pins are a little bent, but nothing unexpected or uh, problematic as long as the tubes still work. I remember ordering this just because I thought it was interesting. I think it works on relatively low voltage, so I wanted to see what that was all about. But also, I just wanted to get into tube electronics. Like, even if all I do is make a little preamp circuit, just seeing it work, kind of like building your first Arduino project or transistor project. Now, why was a Ziploc bag inside a Ziploc bag? So, let's see if I can get into this one. I don't want to dump all the parts out. It's probably easier to look online. Some RCA jacks, potentiometer, electrolytics, power resistor. So, it goes on this PCB. Looks like the tubes would go here. Do they have a socket? Because that's a bit small. And do I have two sets of jacks for in and out? Yes, I think so. The other one was buried in there. So yeah, audio in and out. And there's parts stuck everywhere, so I don't want to lose anything. I'll put this back and I think I'll have to find some links. I think originally when I was looking at this kit, I found a website with a schematic drawn in, and I think it was reverse engineered or something. And so I was trying to look at the circuit theory, but this is going to give me something interesting to do. And if I can get it working, 
And if this really is functioning and not just a gimmick, if audio is going through these tubes like transistors, I look forward to getting this thing going. Now I need to clear a little space temporarily to open a bigger package. I only ordered two things from Amazon, so I already know what this is. And this one is an LED PAR light, which I wanted because I can hook it up to control it over DMX. It comes with a remote control and you can control it for some presets maybe, but I just want to control it with Arduino over DMX just to see that it works without having a DMX project right now. Plugging it in, it's cycling through some preset patterns and looking at the light directly. It's harder to tell what's going on, but if I shine it at a wall or a ceiling, the end result is more obvious. So now that I know it works, I can lay this aside and think of a project I might want to do. And now this one goes with the light. It's the only other thing I ordered from Amazon. And this would be the DMX cable. So this three pin DMX cable, and it is 10 feet. That should give me enough to hook this light or other lights up to an Arduino project where I can bring this light somewhere else and set it up where I need and still have stuff here to work with. And it's a three pin XLR, so that will be compatible with the three pin DMX on here. As many people tend to point out on YouTube videos when people are doing DMX with three pins, they say, and they are correct, DMX is actually a five pin connector standard, but as is the case with this light and a couple of other brand name DMX lights I have, you can use three pins, whether it's considered industry standard or not. It all just depends on what lights you have and what you're plugging them into. You can also get three pin to five pin adapters, translators, so that you can hook up different systems together if they happen to be mixed pinouts. Not a big deal. And the other thing that tends to get pointed out on DMX projects, it should be a DMX data rated cable for a proper installation. But when we're just working on the workbench, even if we just hook wires straight up without any kind of cable, it's probably going to be just fine. And I do have this three pin XLR microphone cable, and this would work fine. It's just that the characteristic impedance of the cable for a data cable versus an audio cable, they're different. So real installation, use the right thing. Workbench, whatever you got. So that's a good start for getting up and running again with projects. I can do some DMX stuff with this light and cable, some more general restocking components and accessories like these potentiometer knobs, and this vacuum tube kit. I want to get that going and see how it works and if it works. <laughs> and maybe I want to do some more vacuum tube stuff. As always, thanks to Patreon supporters because they really helped make this purchase possible. And I'm actually buying some more stuff thanks to the Patreon support. That'll be in an upcoming mailbag video. In the meantime, thanks for watching and stay tuned for projects coming up soon.